So I don't know if it's just me, but it seems as if everywhere I look these days, there's someone new telling me about some amazing new AI tool or about some amazing feature that you can use to create a lot of money or infinite value for millions of people around the world. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I am 100% on the AI train. Uh, I use AI at this point almost every single day. But I wanted to make this video because I do feel like if there's a lot of things that AI is not, and there's a lot of people who are talking about it in ways that I don't believe are necessarily beneficial to the general public. I definitely don't think that I'm the smartest person when it comes to artificial intelligence, but I have heard quite a few people who I respect also relate these views that I have. And I just wanted to put it out there to really have a discussion and to see what your thoughts are around uh, AI and the future of this space. So for all my builders out there, all of my entrepreneurs, I believe that AI is a feature and not a product. And I think there's a very important distinction for seeing it in that light. So let's say that I am a startup and I am creating electric cars because I wanna rival Tesla. Now, one of the things that I could potentially create to create a lot of value for my client is a lightning fast charger port. And this could be the equivalency of AI in the sense that this lightning fast charger port would help you to charge your car much quickly and it would provide a lot of value to the customer. It would allow them a much better user experience, but they couldn't take that charger port and drive it to work in the morning. Now, that is how I see AI. I think that it's an amazing feature, it's an amazing tool to help create more value for whatever it is, for wherever you're trying to take your customer on the journey from their distress to the place of comfort. But it's not the end all product itself, right? And you can look at some of the companies that I think are deploying AI the best. So like Canva, Notion, even Zapier came out with their new suite. What they've done is they've taken the experience that they are already providing to their clients and integrating AI to help them to streamline the process of being able to create value with their platforms. Now we can switch frame a little bit and come back to a place which I feel like is a little bit closer to my domain, and this is content creation and marketing. So I believe that AI is great for producing ideas, but it's not yet good enough to create finished assets. And I can use another analogy that I recently heard in an audio book to give a little bit more light to this. In this scenario, there's a writer and he sits down to write. And in the average robust adult vocabulary, there's gonna be between 15,000 and 20,000 words available for you to write. So what that means is that the first opportunity that you get to write a word, you have potentially between 15,000 and 20,000 options to get it wrong. And to me, this is where AI is really helpful because it allows you to lower that barrier to entry to you creating creative assets. It allows you to spark a lot of ideas and get the ball rolling with your creativity so that you can skip a lot of the hemming and hawing of trying to figure out what do you do first, how do you format it, and potentially how can you put it together in a way that it not only like makes sense, but it's representative of specific audiences. Like piggybacking off this is the third point, that AI produces quantity, not quality. So a lot of these AI tools are in their infancy and they're not at a point yet where they could produce, in my personal opinion, assets that are completely to the level of you know, the best humans in whatever their field is, they definitely cannot accurately replicate people's styles and they definitely find a very hard time of even creating very unique styles of their own. For instance, I recently watched a new Bob Marley movie, right? And all of these years since Bob Marley's passed away, what amazed me most was the fact that his work continues to resonate with the people of today at such a high level. People come across Bob Marley for the first time and go back and binge all of his work. They absolutely love the work that he's put in. And that's because he spent so much time and energy just working on his craft, just refining his message, just understanding his audience so that when he put out that piece of work, it has now been able to outlive him and just keep creating waves and keep bending culture in ways that he could have probably never imagined. And so I think that if you're a creator, that is the mole that you should use. How can I use AI to help me to create more? as opposed to how do I use AI to duplicate the things that I already create? Let me know if that makes sense down in the comments. Let me know if you agree or disagree. And the fourth thing is that AI is not perfect. Now, if you spend a lot of time prompting these AI tools, I'm sure that you will see that at least one in four is absolutely not even near to what the final product was that you wanted. And most of the times you can never get to the final product without changing up something by yourself. Now we've seen a couple companies try to roll out their specific AI tools. For instance, 
Google with Gemini. And there was that huge scandal about the AI not producing non-historically accurate images. If you haven't heard about it or read about it, then recommend that you do. But it just serves as another reminder that there still needs to be a lot of conversations around how do we sustainably create as much value with these AI tools that actually leads us into a future that makes sense and that is safe for the future generation. So that's all I got for this little AI spiel. If you enjoy this, I kindly ask that you would hit that like button and potentially subscribe for future videos like this if it's something that you're interested in. I actually also write one email per week where I share things about online tech, building online marketing, that type of stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, highly recommend that you check it out in the description down below. It's been your boy Carl. I'll see you in the next one.